Hi, my name is uh, Claude O'Shea and I'm an assistant professor um, in the Molecular and Cell Biology Lab here at the Salk Institute. And uh, really what we're passionate about is uh, actually trying to understand and treat cancer. And to those ends, we're using a small virus called adenovirus, actually, uh, to define the key targets uh, that not only drive viral replication, but tumor replication, and also how to uncouple it. And then we're using the virus themselves as a new weapon in the war against cancer, uh, a whole new kind of a therapy uh, to create viruses that not only uh, can bind, but undergo selective uh, lytic replication and kill only tumor cells um, and even seek them out, we hope, uh, within the body. So that's the goal. Right now, we have um, a really yeah, exciting new story uh, where um, there's, uh, there's two kinds of cancer pathways. Um, and uh, even though we understand many of the pathways in the cancer, we still don't have very effective uh, treatments. And certainly for a cancer patient, uh, really being able to uh, sort of recite a litany of targets is of little uh, sort of comfort if you don't have effective therapies to treat it. Um, and one of the key things that goes wrong in cancer is that you lose um, the molecular breaks. And that's a gene called P53. Um, it's called the guardian of the genome because it protects our genomes against mutations. And what we've discovered is a new way, uh, actually using the virus, to basically be able to figure out how the guardian of the genome is inactivated. And it's inactivated by targeting the genome itself, actually. And what happens is that in cancer, you lose the breaks and you get accelerated growth out of control. It doesn't stop. That's what a tumor is. Uh, in viral infection, the virus comes in. It shouldn't also be able to replicate. The breaks should come on. It's triggered. But the virus takes out the breaks, and then it can accelerate its replication out of control. So it's this convergence. It's the same pathways. It's the same pathology, the same disease. And what we've uh, been able to do with this virus is actually figure out a whole new way where the breaks get disengaged. Physically, the breaks are there, but there's no wires. It's, it's actually, it can't remember the program to engage the breaks. And uh, the virus has allowed us uh, to reveal what that program is, how the information is compacted, so that even though it's physically there, it's actually like a zip file, um, and it's compressed. And now that we understand the program, uh, we actually, I think, I hope, will begin to understand how to uh, reawaken, actually, those genes, uh, both in cancer and also the breaks. Um, the other really exciting thing is that uh, what we have now is actually a virus that can't engage the breaks. So it goes into normal cells, the breaks come screaming on, and it's stopped. But in tumor cells, there's no breaks. So it replicates, kills that tumor cell, produces thousands of more of itself that will go on to infect, kill thousands of more uh, of itself again to actually hopefully kill the tumor cell and even spread within the body to take out metastases, which is really often what actually will kill patients. Um, and so uh, it's a, sort of a, a, a new uh, a viral based therapy that actually, uh, unlike uh, trying to create a drug to something that's lost, you can't do it, there's no target. This actually only replicates when something is lost. It depends on loss for its replication. And we hope that that will be a very powerful and new effective uh, uh, tool to make tumor cells remember how to be normal, to make them remember how to actually activate their breaks so we can re-engage them now in a advanced stage cancers and actually stop it dead, hopefully, uh, but actually preserve the life of the patient. That's, that's the goal.